Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am on my way down to Oshawa, Ontario, Canada to visit Chris at Tiller's Boxing Gym for another workout. I got my armband on. Hopefully that will help and uh, I'll get some advice from him whether or not I should punch today. If not, we'll just do the actual physical workout of a boxer and uh, maybe throw a few new things into the routine. Mix it up a bit. You gotta mix it up, keep it interesting, right? Last night I watched IT with uh, Pierce Bronson on Netflix. It was a really good movie. Halfway through I'm like, oh, I should stop watching it because I know Carol would enjoy watching that. And there was another movie the other night I watched the same thing. Halfway through I'm like, damn, Carol would like this movie. I just, you just know what kind of movies your spouse likes. Uh, she likes that suspenseful action type movie. All right, let's get down to Oshawa and work out. Today is proving to be a slow day. Uh, when I was coming along Green Lane, the traffic was just stopped. So I made a U-turn, went south on Young Street, went east on Mulock to get back onto the highway. Now I'm down in Markham, Richmond Hill area, and it is very slow once again. Uh, I'm supposed to be there at 11, and uh, it's not like it's a dentist appointment or anything, but I'm thinking I might use the 407. I didn't want to use the 407 because it's a, an electronic toll route. So I'm not sure how much it costs to go from here over to Oshawa area, but uh, I've got my transponder, which is this thing. The 407 ETR transponder, that helps keep the cost down for not having to be charged the, the video fees that they charge people who don't have a transponder and try to get on that road. Even Americans, they come after you. Anyway, so uh, I guess I'm gonna do that just so um, I get there in time, get a good workout done, then do the food review. Let's do it. You better not let him in. Little old lady got me the late late last night. Werewolves of London again. How werewolves of London. How it down to Tiller's boxing gym. Just getting my phone out. He should be alive. <laughs> he has the front door open. Ready to go? I'm ready. How's Southpaw? She's doing good. She's mean as a snake, cranky as hell. She's about to go into her little house there now. No, I, I want to box with her. No, you don't. She, your, your hands lined up like this, man. <laughs> you can all scratch the hell. So congratulations on your last fight. Thank you. I saw you guys win that one. Yep. What was the, how many rounds? It was a third round knockout with a body shot. Hit him with the liver shot and dropped him. Holy cow, that's yeah. rare, eh? No, it's, no it's, it's actually, it's the best, if you can develop that punch in boxing, it's the best punch. Because the liver sits on the surface of the skin, you can't build muscle tissue around it. Uh, okay. So when you hit it, you drop. Wow. Right, some guy's got a good chin, but nobody can. If you don't know how to protect the liver, then that's it, man. He's, You're done. He's gonna have some problems in the, in the near future. We just found out <laughs> we got a fight in Africa. No way! We're heading to the Ivory Coast. We just got the news this morning. Sweet! Yeah, Congratulations, so, man. Thanks, man. That's so, awesome. Who are you so, going to fight? I'm not sure yet. I haven't even talked to Oboken. He just announced it on social media today. I just saw it. I'm going to actually call him as soon as we're finished here and find out all the details and stuff so I know what i got to do. Very, very cool. i got to get my shots and all that kind of stuff. No kidding, yeah. yeah man. Malaria and yellow fever and all that. Let's start working out, sir. Okay, buddy. Let's get started.
Now it's time to wrap the hands. Tire time. Tire time. All right, Chris, thank you very much for the <laughs> awesome training, no sir. No problem, brother. I'm glad to have you. Hey, when do I get a shirt? Oh, I'll see if I can pick you up one. Okay. I, 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 this, I work with a company that, like, or, you just order them one at a time. Okay. You don't have to, like, order huge boxes and, and try to sell them all. It's, oh. So. I want the name of that company. Okay, I'll, I'll cool. uh, let you know. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, so I, you had a couple guys working out in there, and I they did. were doing the 14 minutes. 14 minutes of hell, we call it. 14 minutes of hell. Explain yeah. it to the people what 14 minutes of hell is. Well, it's uh, basically it's upper and lower body exercise. Uh, it's got uh, seven minutes of planks in it, in between three upper bodies. So you do one uh, minute of plank, one minute of uh, a punch drill, one minute of plank, one minute of medicine ball, one minute of plank, one minute of shoulder presses, one minute of plank, uh, one minute of uh, step ups, one minute of plank, one minute of squats, one minute of plank. Uh, one minute kettlebell, one minute plank, and then you go throw up. <laughs> Pretty simple. That's why it's called uh, 14 Minutes of Hell. Right, and then you go out and do three rounds in the sledgehammer on the tire out back. That was before they went and did the three rounds of interval training on the heavy bags before that. Yeah, I saw that. I, yeah. I videotaped a little bit of that. That yeah. looked pretty intense so, yeah. as it was. So they're uh, out there doing their but you, but you have a 12-year-old that can do that twice. Yeah, I do, actually. Uh, <laughs> Ian, Ian Sweet P. McWhorter, he's got uh, eight fights under his belt right now. He's wow. 12 years old. He's my up-and-coming prodigy. Keep your ears open, but Ian Sweet P. McWhorter, keep your ears open. He's going to be dynamite. When he hits 16, 17, you're going to hear this kid's name everywhere. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks again, sir. No problem, man. It's good to see you again. Just driving uh, along the 401 heading west along the top end of Toronto and uh, we just got storm warning uh, a thunderstorm warning and uh, it's looking crazy right now hopefully we get to see some action That thunderstorm is looking wicked, check it out. Hope you enjoyed that. Right now I'm at Johnny Burger's Charcoal, Charcoal Broiled in Scarborough, Ontario. A few people have asked me to come here, including my brother-in-law. Uh, I've been here many times in the past. It is a staple of Scarborough, Ontario. Look at that. I whacked both of my knuckles uh, when I was doing the punching bag. I missed and hit the wooden thing on the top. So I gotta get rid of those two big chunks of skin. Just noticed it now. Uh, I am hungry, I'm tired, and there's a huge thunderstorm coming, and I gotta get this video shot so I have something to edit tomorrow. But uh, yeah. I uh, don't like this spot, so I'm going to uh, try to find a better spot to park in, and then we'll get this thing done. Hang on to your horses. Once again, just setting up the stuff 
exciting. I know, but this is my life. This is what I do. Some of you guys know that. We've lost all of our existing light with the sun in this storm. I wish I, I wish I knew. I'm gonna probably have to ask some questions when I go in, just so that I have some history to tell people. And if I don't get the answers and I find out later, I'll just have to put it as titles in the video. The little dangly thing is probably gonna get in my way. So this is where my lights come in handy, fill in the, the shadows. And I'm hoping these cameras can see a bit of the orange Johnny Burgers. All right, I'm gonna shut you guys off and get this video shot. Fill up on some food. Food? I'm gonna go all out on this one, I think. Let's go in. This camera is almost out of battery. I just realized I didn't bring my little sticks. I usually keep those, uh, I guess, little charging bars. I usually keep them in my backpack. Uh, for some reason, I didn't bring my backpack. I just grabbed my camera kit to shoot a video. And it, and so this battery is almost out. So I'm gonna shut up and, and tell you. So it's pouring, pouring rain, as you can see. I don't want to get all soaked sitting in my car eating food. So I'm just going to wait a little bit. All finished up at Johnny's Hamburgers. And I'm trying to get home or try and get to at least get to Bradford because I'm going to drop the car off to Ben so you can have it tonight. And I uh, got a lift home with Carol. So I just realized how late I am right now. So bad weather. Driving conditions are crap. Oh. Don't have to change lanes, which is good. And uh, yeah, we'll see you at home. Ah, oh, time for a beer. It is really nice outside, but there's some really threatening clouds let me take you out quickly show you look at that oh, what a whack day like that way is beautiful and that way is scary bizarre weather we've been having so i'd like to thank chris once again for training me i am getting better we did a bunch of combinations today hopefully the camera was rolling during them uh, i'm thinking the next time i go there i'm going to see if uh, ethan wants to come and videotape it it'll be kind of fun to get some really cool angles uh, because i you know i only can put this camera on a tripod and uh, it'd, just be, it'd be kind of fun to make even a more cool rock kind of boxing video uh, at the at the boxing gym uh, and then going to, to Johnny Burgers because I ate, I think I was ton, totally finished by around quarter after three, 3.30. So now I'm not even close to being hungry for dinner. So Carol's going to be eating by herself. And uh, Ben's at Leah's. My daughter's already eaten. And, uh, and that's pretty much all I'm going to do for today's vlog. So thank you very much for hanging out with me, guys. Don't forget if you want to be a part of the travel vlogs uh, and you can be a part of the Patreon. Uh, there's a link at the very end of this video, so thank you very much for anybody who's been a Patreon for the last three months. Yes, some of you guys have been patrons for three months. Thank you very much. This will be the fourth month coming up. Thanks, guys. Uh, so you have a great evening, and we will talk to you. <coughs> talk to you again tomorrow.